Hey there, Martin, Fiskmoss Adventures. Today we're gonna take a look at, and I'm gonna walk you through, the five modifications that I have made to my nature hike, Cloud Up 2. Let's take a look. Number one, bigger and additional pegs. With the Cloud Up 2, you're provided with 11 of these 15 centimeter aluminum pegs. Uh, they are pretty high quality, but they are also pretty small. And the number 11 means that you can stake out your tent properly, but on the sides and on the back, you will have to stake out the upper and the lower guy line together with one peg. In windy conditions, that will create a pretty drafty inner tent, since the lower guy line will therefore pull out and pull up the fly sheet a bit, so a lot of airflow will come underneath. I have switched them into these 18 centimeter aluminum pegs instead and I have now additional three so on the sides and on the back I can stake out the lower guy lines closer to the tent in really windy conditions so that the inner tent will get less drafty. Here we have the tent all staked out and you can see how I put those guy lines together with one peg and on the other side I have used two thanks to my additional pegs. Number two, bungee cord loops for the tent body staking points. The loops for staking out the tent body as well as the vestibule is originally the same Dyneema cord as the guy lines. I have switched that into a four millimeter bungee cord out of two main reasons. One reason is because the bungee cord is elastic. I have a greater range of where I can put the peg because the Dyneema cord has only a certain range and if the ground is rocky right there, I am pretty much screwed. And also, what the bungee cord does is that I can actually stake out the ground sheet right away and then I can just simply pull out the bungee cord of the uh, inner tent and just pull it over. So the staking out and the raising the tent actually goes faster. The other reason has to do with the vestibule. I have the 20D nylon version of this tent and as you know nylon will expand a little bit when it gets wet. So if it rains I'm gonna have to go out and retention the guy lines and such. The vestibule with the Dyneema cords would have to be completely restaked. But since I now have bungee cord instead, the bungee cord should theoretically retract at the same time as the fly sheet fabric will expand. So in theory, the bungee cord should help the vestibule being kept nice and taut. Number three, new tie backs for the doors. The provided tie backs for the doors, both the outer door and the inner door is originally the classic uh, fabric loop together with a little hook that you put through this outer loop and it keeps it in place. This is not a super secure system, it will flap around a bit if it's windy. So instead I have cut up that loop, removed a little hook and I have created a knot together with this 3mm Dyneema cord and a string stop so I can instead pull it through the outer loop and secure it well. Number four, cordage zipper loops. When you receive the tent, the zippers will have this cheap kind of fabric with the Nature High logo on it and it won't run very smoothly because when you pull it, it creates kind of a weird angle for the zipper. So what I've done instead is I've taken the Dyneema cordage that actually was in the corners of the ground sheet and the inner tent that I replaced with the bungee cord. And I've put them on the uh, zippers instead, kind of shortened them as well. And they now run very smoothly. And I did the same on the fly sheet zippers. Number five, installing a cloth line. Since I wanted to be able to dry out my wet socks and such during the night, 
I decided to install a cloth line. I did that by taking use of the only pocket uh, there is in this tent, which is here in the top. So I decided to sew in this little plastic ring and through the ring I put some Dyneema cord. And this Dyneema cord I anchored to the lantern hook in the roof or the ceiling or whatever. And through the loop created by the ring I did this little taut knot so I can also tension the cloth line. So that was it. That was my five modifications to my nature hike cloud up two to make the tent a little bit better for my personal use and preferences on practicality. Hope you liked the video. Take care. See ya.